The final thing that revenue officers can do is they can seize assets. Now, while ACS can seize assets, as we mentioned earlier, revenue officers can seize physical property, uh, which makes it very difficult. So one of the nasty stories that we have is we had a client who was called to an IRS meeting for a summons interview when the, IR, when the client showed up at the building and sat in with an interview with the agent. The agent took the step of seizing the client's vehicle out of the parking lot while the administrative summons was going on. Uh, that's a pretty extreme case. The client in this case had done some particularly bad things and had kind of upset the revenue officer. So they sort of had it coming. But at the same point, the revenue officers have the ability to seize vehicles. They can seize boats. Uh, if, they, if it moves, they will take it. Uh, generally speaking from an administrative level, it is difficult to seize assets that are not cash because the IRS is not in the business of collecting cars. So the IRS will generally go after cash assets first. It is rare, although possible, that the IRS will seize physical assets as well. Uh, that's why it's important to negotiate with the revenue officer, particularly in high dollar cases, uh, so to prevent the seizure and sale of assets that might be uh, of particular value to the taxpayer. They can also seize jewelry, they can seize any number of items, so you want to be sure you communicate with the revenue officer uh, and smooth things over as quickly as possible.